Yaakov with his dearest son, Yosef, is about to take place. For the past 22 years, they were apart. But now, as they met, Yosef cried. Rashi points out that the Pasuk only tells us that it was crying, and it tells us nothing about Yaakov's emotion. Did Yaakov not cry out of joy, and his son did? Rashi explains that the time of, of this great reunion, Yaakov was saying Kriyat Shema, and therefore could not cry out his, on his son's shoulder. The question is, Yaakov knew he would be meeting his son. Could he not have said Shema earlier? To answer this, we need to understand what we, what we are doing when we say the words of Shema. The, sh the Shema is a way for us to declare Hashem as our King. In Shema we say, And you should love Hashem, your God, with all your heart, your soul, and with all your money. In truth, Yaakov could have said, Shema at any other time. But when a person does a mitzvah, they should do it with their fullest ability. Part of doing a mitzvah fully is doing them all with all of our emotion and joy, with all of our heart and soul. For the last 22 years of Yaakov's life and his joy were less since he had not seen his beloved son. Yaakov had been sad for 22 years and had served Hashem with the feeling of sadness. At this great moment of reuniting with Yosef, his heart became filled with the greatest joy he had ever felt. He then used that happiness to fulfill the mitzvah of declaring Hashem as king for the universe and serving him with all of the greatest emotions ever imaginable. From here we can learn how important it is for us to give it our all when doing a mitzvah and how important it is to always be happy. Shabbat Shalom!